Director Sheetal, can you please give me the names of the individuals who are in charge of your Ooh. con op for the rally? I'm not going to release names. Can you give me today. the titles? And how no. many individuals? No. Nothing? We, we had a full advance team that was responsible for the, advancing How many the people site? are the final approval authority? There are a number of people now, that's a legitimate that we question. engaged in approving can you the give plan. Me the titles, a, that's a legitimate no, question. Okay. What Firm level number. of... Can you just confirm whether or not, I understand this is an open investigation, but, but in, or, in order to dispel conspiracy theories, have you guys been able to subpoena the shooter's discord records, or has the FBI, to your knowledge? I believe that the FBI is working on those. Okay. Is it factual to say that you have not ruled out that the shooter was working with other people or persons? Again, the FBI is conducting the criminal investigation into can the shooter. Can you, at least in an effort to dispel conspiracy theories, can you confirm or deny that? At this time, we do not have that there were any other people engaged. So you believe he's acting alone? I do. Okay. Have you been made aware of multiple eyewitness reporting that there was a, a second shooter on a water tower? I do not have any information related to any second shooter. Okay, uh, the reason I ask that is because according to testimony from multiple witnesses, they did report that. And again, I, to my understanding, there were over 40 sniper teams that were briefed by the Butler ESU. And I wanna make sure that people are aware if you're saying that there's not another shooter that we are able to clear that information because from this whole entire briefing, it doesn't seem like much information has been able to get out to the American people. So I'm trying to dispel rumors as I'm sure you understand. Um, was it true that Secret Service was present at the Butler ESU briefing? There was a briefing between the uh, counter sniper teams was uh, that were working Secret on Service the ground. Present? Yes, to my knowledge. Okay, I want to read you a report from people that seem to be throwing you under the bus and stated that they were in attendance and that Secret yeah. Service was not in attendance at the security briefing, according to individuals with knowledge, to yeah. also include that the AGR building where the shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks was located um, was this actually not a part of their 13th. security perimeter for that. So there was not Secret Service present. <clears throat> Um, it seems as though that when you were asked earlier from Rep. Krista Morthy about whether or not Secret Service was aware of a threat, you had said no, they were unaware of a threat. And yet, according to communications, again, from law, law enforcement that were in some of these group chats, they actually had reported that Secret Service was made aware of a threat at around 5.59 p.m. as a part of the command, including Secret Service, aware of messages and requests about in, uh, information about the suspect's location. Can you please tell me if you have knowledge of that at all? Again, I think we're conflating the, the difference between the term threat and suspicious. But you guys did have knowledge at 5.59 p.m. according to those group chats, did you not? Of a suspicious individual. Okay. Um, yeah. Chairman, in my opinion, according to some of the testimony today, I feel that you have perjured yourself in some instances. And so I'm going to ask for a full review of the transcripts by staff. And if you find that to be the case, I do ask that you bring perjury charges against wow. the director. Um, I will say this, it is very frustrating, and I've talked to my colleagues and we've said it to your face, that you have been up here basically stonewalling our ability to get the answers to the American people. And what I will also say is that every single member of Congress does not feel safe with you in charge. You have heard yeah, that, and, and I think that we're all sitting ducks with you and directing the Secret Service currently. Uh, but more importantly, it sends a message to our adversaries that we are not protected. And we are one of the strongest wow. countries in the world, so Strong you have words. essentially made us a less safe country because of it. Um, as a result of that, I'm asking you to formally step down. I share my same opinions as my Democrat colleagues. And I also think that your efforts to bring forward a full um, investigation and report in 60 days is unacceptable. And as a result of that, I'm going to do everything in my legislative toolkit to ensure that that happens sooner rather than later. And I'm sure that you know that we brought a vote on inherent contempt against Garland for <clears throat> essentially blocking a congressional investigation. And I don't think that you should be any different. So um, I will say that I am just completely disgusted by your performance today. And I understand that you are probably in a position where you're being told not to testify, which is why we had to subpoena you. I think that goes back to Garland. But again, that is part of the uh, flushing that we need to get out of Washington, and I would be happy to assist in that process. Chairman, I yield the rest of my time. Chair now recognizes Mr. Langworthy from New York. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and I 